Ready. Three. Two. One. Football is secure. We are Oscar Mike. Copy that. Control, do you read? We are go down here. We read you. You are clear for takeoff on runway 09er. Again with these electrical failures. Any idea what's going on? Carson Tower, this is Delta Mary 5. These electrical failures are worsening. Please advise. Over. Damn it. I don't like this. We're going to drop down to 5,000 feet. Oh, we just lost navigation. Now. I'm trying. Mayday, Carson, Mayday, do you read? We're gonna have to set her down. We're gonna have to do it by visual only. Find us a spot. We're having electronic failures. We're now attempting emergency landing. You do understand, of course, this is eyes only. National security is at stake. Yes, of course. Though well, I still don't know what I'm doing here. I've been in the private sector for almost six years. We're well aware of that. You seem to have done pretty well for yourself, Jordan. This is a blast from your past. I'm told that you had a hand in making this stuff 30 years ago. Containing it, yes. But that was another life, Admiral. Now, I don't much care what your job description was. As I understand it, you're the expert, and Whiskey Hotel wants you leading on this. Whiskey Hotel? Jordan, the White House, now will you just listen up? We had an incident. We flew a sample over here. <laughs> you flew a sample? <laughs> you can't move Ice 10 through the Earth's magnetic field at that kind of speed. It'll build a heck of a charge. Destabilize its own containment field. What happened? Like I said, we had an incident. Fortunately, confined to an installation way up in northern Alberta. And thanks to the Canadians, we've managed to keep a lid on it. Admiral, with all due respect, Ice-10 is... 
It was originally derived from a compound extracted from a meteorite. Look, what I'm saying is we didn't understand it then and we don't understand it now. It should never have been moved. We buried it deep underground, and it was supposed to stay down there forever. Forever is a long time, and things change. Now, that area was approved for oil drilling a year ago. Oil drilling? <laughs> Ice 10 was conceived as a doomsday weapon for the Cold War. It was the ultimate deterrent, capable of plunging this entire planet into a thousand-year winter. You can't use it to fight drugs or terrorism. That is why we need your help to rid the world of it for good. I was always against burying it. Secure containment requires a precisely controlled electronic field. Any, any change in the electronic field, any power cut that... Ten square miles burned to a crisp by less than a gram of it. Why didn't you send it back where it came from? Into space, into the sun. I don't have the budget for that, and you know it, so please don't waste my time, Jordan. Well, then the, there's only one option left, I suppose. Sink it in the ocean. Sink it deep, below 15,000 feet, where pressure and low temperatures will render the material inert. All right. I'll need the best of the best on this, Admiral. Mr. Jordan, you will have the United States military behind you, and they are the best of the best. So... So what do we have to do to get it there? It will have to be a boat. The biggest boat you can lay your hands on. Well, I think we may have just the thing. Attention! Uh, as you were. I just want to take a moment to introduce myself. I'm Robert Jordan, ex-director of science and technology for the CIA. As you may know, I've been put in charge of this operation. And I know it's unusual for a civilian to be in command of a joint military operation, but I trust the gravity of this situation is obvious to you all. So I hope we can rise together, work as a team, and above all, trust one another. Yes, sir. What is your name? Randall, sir. Good, Randall. But ditch the salute, please. I'm not wearing a uniform. I believe you're all aware of the consequences of the destabilization of a single gram of ice 10. Considering the fact there's another 63 vials of the stuff in McCready, it is no overstatement to say that millions, possibly billions of lives are at stake. Now, our mission will be to coordinate the loading of the weapon onto a vessel here, the Velazar, which will be escorted across the Pacific to the Mariana Trench, the deepest spot on the planet. There she will be entombed, so we never have to face another incident like this again. The Velazar, sir? She's an ultra-large crude carrier, largest in her class. Now, for the Velazar, this will be a one-way mission. Once she's over the Mariana Trench, she'll be filled with concrete and sank to the bottom. Okay. 
The containment device on board has been designed to work to a depth of 20,000 feet, by which time nature will have taken over. The pressure and temperature at those depths will render ICE-10 completely inert. Colonel Marvin Hanley of the Army Corps of Engineers will be our point man on the ship. The skipper is Captain Costa Spiru, got his start flying choppers for the Greek Navy, and for the record, served with distinction in the first Gulf War. No one knows the ship better than him. One last thing. Randall, run simulation Alpha One, please. Copy. Ladies and gentlemen, what you see here is the projected path of destruction should we fail in our mission. A tidal wave a mile high will sweep out the western seaboard and sweep inland as far as Las Vegas. Far worse, secondary destruction will be due to particles thrown up into the atmosphere, blocking the sunlight for 1,000 years. You get the idea. Any questions? Let's get to work. Let's go, everybody. So good, sir. Yeah, let's hope it stays that way. Something's not right. What the hell is that? ESA satellites. Tracking a rogue wave forming 12 clicks away from the Velazar, sir. How big? How soon? Big. Three minutes. Just our luck. Patch me through. Let's just hope we can ride it out for all our sakes. Captain Spirou, you have a rogue wave bearing down in your due east. It's traveling fast. Copy. Captain Hard to starboard. Tour. Yes, sir. This is Captain Spiro. We have a rogue wave headed our way. Secure all patches. I knew it, I knew it. 12, 11, 10 seconds, niner, eight, seven, six. Turn into it, turn into it. was destabilized by the wave. What's our options? Well, procedure calls for a hard reset, but we're still waiting on word from SECCOM. Waiting? Yeah. Why are they waiting? That's a good question, Captain. A 
Again, I recommend a hard reset. It's standard protocol. We can't do that here, Colonel. There'll be a breach. Sir, they're waiting for instructions. Sir, projecting less than a minute until containment collapse. Vent. We're going to vent. Vent, sir? What does that mean? Oh, my gosh. All right, you heard him. Open the tank room. Yes, sir. 45 seconds until containment collapse, sir. Captain, the device is designed to vent small amounts in an emergency situation. Now, this can work. Destabilize the compound will cavitate and produce a hot gas. It's relatively cold where you are, so the gas should rise before it expands too much. Is this going to work? Evacuate the tank room now. It's going to be flooded with radiation. 30 seconds. This is the captain speaking. Evacuate the tank room. We're venting the weapon. Get out of the tank room now. Let us pray. Fifteen. Fourteen. Thirteen. Twelve. Eleven. Ten seconds. Niner. Vasiliasu. Initi do tothele masu. Venting. Noro ki gidis bis. Donarto imon tonipiusion. Dosimin simeron. Ki afes imin tofelima taimon. Oski misa fiamenti su filete simon. Alla resimas ipotoponiru. Amen. Containment has been stabilized. Yes. Yes. Track that cloud, Randall. What cloud, sir? Good job. Okay. Everything is okay then. What? That cloud, sir. Cruisers right in its path. Get them out of there. Avoid contact with the cloud. Avoid the cloud. We've lost the feed, sir. Get me Admiral McDonough. Get me the Admiral. Hey, so you didn't learn anything from Three Mile Island, huh? Th three, three what? Listen to me. If you want to scram the reactor, you have to use sufficient cooling flow to remove the decay heat, yes, okay? Yes, and that is why we use pressurized water reactors. Uh. Not enough. It takes 28,000 liters per hour for each individual fuel channel. You're not getting anywhere near that. Look, 
You have significant core damage. To react to three, you need to shut this place down. You're here to fix problems, not to shut us down. If you want me to fix problem, then you shut it down one week. Tell him. <sighs> okay, Ben, Clarence, do you copy? We got you, Adam. This puppy's all kinds of messed up. We're gonna shut down through a re-channel, right? Yeah, yeah, looking like that. Prime director must be thrilled. <laughs> Not exactly, but your sister's over there smoothing things over, as usual. You guys make one heck of a team. At least we got one diplomat, so we're not out of work. Thank you for the vote of confidence, Ben. Okay, it's about time you guys got out of there. I don't want you getting overexposed. Well, we're in here now. We might as well prep the reactor. Negative. Ben, Clarence, come back to us. It's a no-go, babe. They're going for a second opinion. What? Hey, if you want to fly me halfway across the world to not listen to me, I've got another story for you, man. They have their three zotus scrammy. Core temp's not going down. Stuck valve? What? Gonna be. Okay, guys, we have to manually override the valve. Valve, valve, Jackie? Bob three. Valve three. Radiation levels are pegged to the top of the scale. If we don't get this valve open, we're looking at a meltdown. They must open the valve now. It's not budging. Give it all you got, Ben. Temp's rising, Adam. We're consultants, not rescuers. Let them pay the price, not us. Okay, Jackie, are they making any headway? Yes. I think so. Wait, Ben, what are you doing? There's a whole city out there, sis. Oh, it moved. I got from here. Ben, please get out of there now. Uh, sorry. Uh, How are we doing, Adam? You're nearly there. Uh, oh, God, I'm not feeling so good. Ben, get out of there. Just get out of there now. What, what is going on? Why, why is there so much radiation in there? I don't know. Oh, you got it. Coding, stabilizing. Open the door and get out of there now. Morgan, you can't do that. We'll all be fatally exposed. Flush the room, flush the room. It's not working. Ben, it's going to be OK, all right? Just breathe. We're going to flush the room. We're going to flush the room. Sorry. I don't think I'm gonna make it. No, Ben. No! Ben! 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 We've had an update on the shipping accident we brought you earlier. The U.S. Coast Guard reports they are aware of no incidents and that their investigation has concluded that this was a hoax. They are now investigating the source of the misinformation. In other news, sunspots have been causing electrical disturbances across That's the That's got cover-up written all over it. Well, it could be right. The uh, interference patterns can't be sunspots. His frequencies are wrong. Um, really? Wrong frequency? Are you some kind of a science doctor? <laughs> Something like that. You had a Murphy? Yep, that's me. You're coming with us. I am. Yes, you are. <clears throat> All right. Whatever you say. Let's go.
Adam? Professor Jordan. Not anymore. Just playing Robert Jordan these days. Okay. MIT was a long time ago, huh? Sit down. Okay. I've kept up with your published work and some of the unpublished stuff, too. Yeah, well, I decided to walk away from that when I realized they were using it for weapon development. Did they brief you on the way in? Yeah, yeah, the broad strokes. Um, containment failed. You decided to vent, probably the only choice you had at the time. Um, a bubble formed and pop. The expert on containment. You know, some of your theories about magnetic field superimposition are very... I've never been tested. How about I give you the opportunity? <laughs> I I'm feeling a little bit rusty at the moment, to be honest, sir, so... <laughs> I know all about Baku. You made the right call. I killed my best friend and brother-in-law. It's time to grow up, Adam. Look, we're not talking about weapon development here. We're talking about weapon dismantlement. Adam, I desperately need your help. I don't believe I can do it, sir. Besides, I, I lost my whole team back there. Jackie, Morgan. When did you last speak to them? Almost two years ago. I don't even know where to find them. Come on. They use cell phones like the rest of the world. How do you think we found you? I don't think they'll follow me again. Well, you may be surprised, Murphy. Go get them. Clock's ticking. Adam, what are you doing here? Jackie, I'm looking for you. And it's good to see you haven't lost your groove. Groove is very important. Never lose groove. Um, Jackie, I, I didn't have a chance to apologize to you. Too much sorry. We saved lives. You be proud. Just honor man. Yeah. Yeah. You look bad. <laughs> yeah, I suppose I do. What this American surgeon? You got new job? Yeah, and it's a big one, and it could be dangerous. It could be a lot worse than Baku. Hey, man, dangerous, my middle name. <laughs> I follow you to hell, even if you don't want me. You understand? I, I understand. <laughs> you have a talk to her, huh? No. I figured you for the easy one. Listen up. Here's the situation, folks. We lost a cruiser and far too many good men and women. However, the Velazar is still afloat and back on course. Now, what's become clear is just how unstable containment can be. So I'm bringing in a team of highly skilled containment specialists to try a novel approach. With all due respect, sir, so far this operation has consisted of one calamity after another. Now, I don't think this is the time for novel approaches. Standard operating procedure calls for a hard reset. Now, we need to reboot and get the bugs out of the you system. You will do no such thing, Colonel. You will stick to protocol. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Take it easy, Colonel. Did you just tell me to take it easy? You don't like your boss. I expect a little competence from my superiors. And we have procedures for this sort of thing. That box down there needs a hard reset. It's novel ideas that get good people killed. Colonel, come in, Colonel. 
Handley here, what do you got? The situation, sir. The system's acting up again. Damn it. Best, Captain. Okay, let's see what we're dealing with here. Okay, start prepping for a hard reset. Yes, sir. Colonel, Mr. Jordan. Mr. Jordan is not here right now, is he? Look, you saw what happened last time. Now, operating procedures are quite clear. Hard reset, Sergeant. Yes, sir. That man is not my superior officer. He's a damn sibby. Colonel Hanley, what's going on out there? It looks like we're losing containment stability again. We're going to attempt a hard reset. Wait. Captain Spiro, anything happened out there we don't know about? No, sir. Randall, how long have we got? Minutes, sir. Colonel, a hard reset is ill-advised right now. The containment's not critical, and the system is designed to self-stabilize. I'd prefer to wait and see. Well, it's too late for that, sir. Hard reset has been initiated. We've lost device diagnostics, sir. Damn him. Ten to one, the system would have self-stabilized. Now it's just a crapshoot. Containment's gone critical in two units, sir. 30 seconds till failure. Colonel, vent the damn thing now. Vent it. Yes, sir. Again. We run the risk of another death cloud, but this is the only option we have to avoid a total system meltdown. Those overflying choppers out of there. Flight control. Get the choppers out of there. Get them out. We're trying, sir, but there's too much interference. <sighs> That's a big cloud, sir. And it's only going to expand as time goes on. Well, won't that dissipate the energy? Any matter doesn't behave in conventional ways. For now, the bigger it gets, the bigger the bang. Start tracking it. We need to predict where it's going to pop. Give me weather estimates. That's our best guess, sir. Honolulu, how long have we got? It's hard to say, sir. Approximate, damn it, Randall. 12 hours, sir. Get me Admiral McDonald. Adam. Morgan, wait, wait, wait. It's important. Is this some kind of a joke? You're really sick, you know that? I know. Probably. Yeah. But I'm not here to make peace with you. <laughs> what? I mean, I'm here because we need you. Who's we? America, the world. You're not making any sense. No. I is this another job? Yeah. Wait, wait. It's, it's, it, it's different this time. Please listen. The military... They've created something, something really bad, some kind of antimatter, or nobody really knows what it is, but all I can say, it's worse than anything you or I could ever imagine. We need to get rid of it. We need to sink it to the bottom of the ocean so it never comes back to haunt us again. Now, they're having trouble with containment, so they need people from the top of the field. And that used to be 
us, right? Me and you. You. You're in charge of this? Yeah. Look at you, Adam. You, you're a wreck. After the accident, I, I couldn't. Couldn't what? I, couldn't talk to me? Or look at me? I couldn't function. Anytime I saw you, I would just... So shutting yourself off and drinking yourself into a stupor every day and destroying yourself, that was your solution? Look, I... I can't do this without you. So please, just one last time. See what these guys are all about. Welcome aboard. I'm Colonel Hanley. I'm glad you're here. Morgan, we hope we can be of assistance. Why did you go ahead with a hard reset and get orders, huh? You must be Adam Murphy. Yes, I am. I'll have you know that Robert Jordan is not my commanding officer. Nor are you. Well, I was just wondering why you bought me in then. Is it because you're doing such a fantastic job? Listen up, Murphy. If it were up to me, this would be 100% military up. Yeah, it was up to you. And now we're in the middle of trying to evacuate the whole of Hawaii under the pretense of a hurricane. Hey, hey guys. We're in the old same team, right? USA, USA, USA. Hey, you want to play Monday morning quarterback? That's fine with me. But you got to learn the game first. I know all about Baku and how you killed half your team out there. Now you follow my lead and you keep in line. Macho jerk. I'm sorry. Did you just say something, little lady? Little what? Whoa, 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 whoa. <sighs> Colonel Henry, we are here to help. Let's go bridge and say hi, Captain. You know? What did he just say? He said we're on board with the program. Oh. Well, that's more like it. Let's go meet the captain. Sir, yes, sir. Captain Spiro, they're here. This is Adam Morgan and Jackie. Jackie. Yes, sir. They're the magnetic containment specialist that Jordan sent over. Hopefully, they'll be of some use. Welcome aboard. Pleasure to be here. We need to get to the tank room ASAP. I mean, I guess it's full of radiation. We've set up an uplink in a control room below decks. You can use that. That means we'll have to figure out how to modulate the field through the network interface. Now, if that were possible, don't you think I'd have done it already? It's a stripped-down system, never intended for that. We took a look at the source code on the way in. We think there's a way around the user layer. There's no way you're getting in without physical access. The network interface was built to military spec. That's good. We need to speak software. You're a funny guy. What did he just say again? Lead the way, soldier. Come on. You can leave your things here. Is it all right if he sets up in there? Sure. Just log out for him. It's a single user system, do you understand? No, it's okay. I'm going for root access. See? Get the hell out of here. You're in? Move. 
It may be root access, but we're still top level. We're gonna try a few exploits we scoped out and get behind the interface. You see these readings? What is that? A small utility we threw together on the way over. It's scraping data from the confinement chamber monitoring utility one layer down. These are field intensity readings from each of the electromagnets in Orsted's. Come on, you can't be serious. Those numbers are all over the place. What you're looking at is what happens when a medium's reluctance is shifting. Flux density ripples, basically. Oh, my God. Okay, essentially, the system is doing all it can to stop from losing containment, but due to how unpredictable this ice 10 crap is, it's, it's having to work way outside spec. In other words, if we're going to do something soon, we're facing catastrophic failure. So how long do we have? It's hard to say, but uh, looking at these numbers, maybe three hours. I got command line. Yes. Nice work, Jackie. Thank you. What did he just say? We're in. Got a command line, see? Yeah, well, we should get him to send us a new matrix. Switch it out. We'll never get it to line up precisely enough. OK, fine. Let's just modulate the field. Look, do it manually. Hey, hey. Give us some breathing room, please. <clears throat> There's a couple of algorithms I want to try out, please. Bring up the feedback projection code. Okay. Let's see if we can use statistical analysis to predict the reluctance shifts. He's going to try a few algorithms. We're sitting on a million Hiroshima's here. You know what? Take your time, Murphy. I mean, what's the worst thing that could happen? Planet-wide nuclear winner? Morgan, get him out of here now. Let's step outside for a minute, shall we? Who the hell do you think you are? Do you really think you can charm me with a smile and a hand on my arm? I'm not your client, lady. I'm your commanding officer. Is that clear? Hey. Hey, what? Admiral, we're gonna have to break the seal. What's bearing down on Honolulu is no hurricane. Those people down there deserve to know what's coming. We are evacuating Honolulu under pretext of a hurricane, and that's just gonna have to be good enough, Jordan. It's a matter of national security. We just cannot have the Chinese knowing about I-10. They are jumpy enough as it is. Hanley? What's going on over there? It's nothing, sir. Your technicians managed to bypass the basic interface, and we now have the ability to manually adjust the field distribution. It looks like we'll have this under control in a moment, sir. That is fantastic news. I realize Adam's busy, but please convey my congratulations to him and his team. Will do, sir. Signing off. Uh, are you insane? We can't stabilize the field manually. Hey! Just cool it, okay? This is not the time to test your crackpot theories. Now, you guys hacked in very efficiently. That's very nice. Now, just do the math and correct for the deviations. It's basic arithmetic. Get to it. Now, the, the variance may swing unpredictably. Do I need to have you removed from this ship, or are you going to be part of this team? You messed up in Baku. You're not going to mess up again. Not here, not on my watch. Hey, man, we can do it. Fire up and ready to go. OK, let's get to it. What is that on the radar? Same as that. Volcano? Don't know, but I sure ain't going through it. Let's take her up another thousand feet and give that thing a wide berth. Yes, sir. Controls are responding. Are failing. The radio's out. Everything's out. We're going into that thing. Ah! 
Morgan, keep your eye on one, two, three. You're starting to. I got it. You're good. Wait now. He's looking like feedback. You bring it down. Bring it down. Mine's too high. Way too high. We're heading for containment failure again. This is a terrible idea. You're the one who wanted to modulate the damn field. That was before we realized the electromagnets were shot. Just continue what you're doing. I don't think you understand. And I don't need to understand. Do it. Something's not right. I thought they had it under control, sir. If we do that, it will create another death cloud. We have no other choice. What the hell happened? Talk to me. It's another venting blackout, sir. Randall. It's the press secretary again, sir. Tell her I'm on my way. He's on his way. Keep tracking that cloud. Copy. While the loss of Flight 199 is tragic, I can't comment on what might have caused it, at least not until further investigation has been completed. These rumors of cover-ups and conspiracies are simply that, rumors. Why is Honolulu being evacuated? I said it before, and I'll say it again. There's a Class 5 hurricane bearing down on Honolulu. Look, this is routine, guys. But satellite imagery shows no hurricanes forming, not to mention the season is wrong. What is really going on? Look, Mike, I don't know. Maybe you should ask your weather guy. I don't do weather. Me, what about reports of expanding black death clouds? What do you make of those? And why has Robert Jordan been attending secret Pentagon meetings? Whoa, whoa. Really, Tom? You need to stop getting your information from bloggers and TMZ. I have here CIA's former head of science and technology, Robert Jordan, who will dispel those rumors for you in person. So uh, we'll bring him up, and then perhaps we can focus on what truly matters. Getting the word out about Hurricane Max, Getting these people to safety and ending petty gossip. Robert. <clears throat> I'd like to read a prepared statement. I can't do this. These are all fair questions. Ladies and gentlemen, these so-called death clouds are real. Robert. And must be avoided at all costs. Although I'm not at liberty to discuss the details, we all need to cooperate in tracking them while keeping as far away from them as possible, because they will destroy everything in their path until their energy is expended. That, unfortunately, is all I can say at this time. Thank you. Over here! You just made me look like a fool. You're gonna pay for this. Don't you people get it? We have to be honest with the world about this situation. You serve at the pleasure of the president. She's going to expect your resignation letter. She can fire me anytime she wants. Meanwhile, I've got a job to do. Excuse me. <laughs> Next question. That was the scene just moments ago where Robert Jordan abandoned his prepared speech and said the following. Sir, I... I really think you're gonna catch a lot of heat for what you did today, but I really respect it.
People deserve to know what's going on. As long as I'm in charge, our mission will be to save as many lives as possible. Get back to your stations. Now, what the hell's happening on that ship? you from the start that this was not possible. It was working just fine until you blew it. Till I blew it? Were you blaming me now? Yes. Madrid is sub man. Oh, what the hell did he just say now? The electromagnet matrix is physically shot due to the varying permeability of the ice 10 medium. Exactly. Which is why I wanted to replace the damn thing in the first place. Colonel, a report has come in that the explosion was a cruise ship. 1,600 men, women, and children. Not a single survivor. What I don't understand is why you of all people are backing him up. I made the best call I could in Baku. I didn't have a choice. You're pathetic, Murphy. This is not helping, Colonel. We were just reviewing the shortcomings of Murphy's idea the for the... The shortcomings around here have nothing to do with Adam's ideas. I said enough! Too many people have died today for me to listen to this. Now, what is your plan going forward? I recommend we move to secondary protocol, sir. I want to hear what Adam has to say. Thank you. What secondary protocol? Okay, so the problem is this ice tent is displaying wildly varying permeability characteristics. The electromagnet matrix is overloading way beyond spec to compensate. The elements have mostly degraded by now, sir. So what do you recommend? There's only one option I can see right now, and that is to superimpose another field on top of the first. Hey, but that sounds like you'll need physical access. We vented a lot of radiation into that tank room, and I doubt very much the seaburn suits could protect you adequately. Well, it's the only option I can see. Randall, what's your reading in the tank room? Thousands of curies. Someone might survive 10 minutes with adequate gear. Adam, how long do you think you'll need? At least an hour. There's another way in. There's another way to get to that horror in the tank room. There are maintenance tunnels below. It will be tight, but you should be able to get underneath and sew your way in. Light on. What? Okay. We have a plan. Execute it. Yes, sir. Come on. Take the hard patch. You guys control room, okay? No. You need me down there with you. You need Jackie Go. He's right, Adam. Gotta work fast to minimize exposure. You're gonna need all the hands you can get. I can't ask you to follow me down there, okay? You're not asking. I'm saying you. I'm coming too. I want you downstairs. Do not talk to me like that. We used to be partners, remember? I just can't. I almost. No, no, no. This is not about you. There's more at stake here than you and your guilt. <laughs> Besides, I, I miss this stuff. You do? It's kind of like old times.
Now, I can't understand why anyone would follow you anywhere. Much less into a situation like this. I've heard about you before, but now I've seen it for myself. Oh, really? What do you see exactly? I see a washed-up coward who doesn't have the guts to make the tough decisions and live with the consequences. <laughs> 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 Nice try, Murphy. Didn't think you had it in you. <coughs> 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 What happened to you? Uh, a little heart to heart with Henley. <sighs> hey, is it hot in here? Huh? <laughs> Get me the Velazor. We're online. How are you, kids? Hey, boss. We've got you all clear here. How are your levels? Nothing too abnormal so far. We'll be extra careful. There's a lot riding on you. Trust me, we'll be doing our best. And don't forget, there could be small amounts of the weapon floating around down there. Oh, like, take it slowly, guys. What do you say? It's a tight fit without the suits, but with them? Yeah, man. He's crazy hoping he's dead, too. Oh, come on, boys. I thought you liked it hot. I said I go to her, but you pushing it, man. Come on, Jackie. God be with them. I'm into that. I have to say, they're not Greek, but very courageous anyway. I think this is it. Radiation? No worse than most parts of Nevada. Hey, don't make me laugh. I got pee. Hey, Jackie. Start cutting into the pipe. Morgan and I will test for hot wires. We're good on the first couple. <sighs> yeah, baby.
Be extra careful now. Some of those pipes are running high voltage. All over it. Sir. Good job. How much longer till you're through? About two minutes. Sir, you gotta come see this. Not now, Ren. Yes, now, sir. What's the problem? What? Honolulu. When it was hit, it generated a massive shockwave headed directly towards the Velazar right now. Point of impact, 30 seconds and counting. Adam, shockwave headed your way. Brace for impact. Repeat, shockwave headed your way. Brace for impact. Be careful, Jackie. That line you're cutting into is hot. I just breach the jacket. Gentle, Jackie, gentle. That's me. Gentle, Jackie. Repeat. Don't no, no, wait. Get back. What did he see? Go again, sir. We're getting a lot of interference. Get him out of here. <laughs> Jackie! Jackie! Ja Jackie, we have to get you out of here. Um, <sighs> can you help me, buddy? Come on, push. Ja Jackie, uh, we have to crawl back out. Come on. He's losing blood fast. Push, Morgan, push. Push. Uh. How much longer do we figure the containment matrix will hold out? He said maybe three hours, two hours ago. Morgan, push, push. He's stuck. Some pressure on this. Put pressure down here on the wound. Come on, stay with us. This pulse is weak. Jackie. Come on, Jackie. Jackie. I'm sorry. He's coming around. Jackie, 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 Jackie. 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 Jackie.
Come on, Jackie. Sir, coffee, sir? They've arrived at the location. They're over the trench. The concrete tankers are rendezvousing as we speak. In about an hour, containment will fail altogether. It'll take at least that long to sink her. Even longer for her to descend to 15,000 feet. What do we do, sir? Attention! We are out of options, Jordan. here because you forced us. We're here because we wanted to be. And we can make a difference. You gave us that chance. A chance to do something meaningful. And that's a gift, Adam. Missed you so much. Me too. If we ever get off this boat, do you think we can? Because I need you. We made it to the rendezvous. We will fill her with concrete and scuttle her soon. No, 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 containment will never hold. All the concrete would do is make an even bigger bang. Hundreds of millions will die. Oh, well, not necessarily. I tried some of your algorithms on the box up there, and uh, they work. The field's been greatly stabilized. The damage is done. She's right. At least one of the electron magnets will fail about 30 minutes from now. No, 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 you bought us some time, hopefully enough. Enough for what? Enough for me to go back in there and finish what we started. I'm going to. No. You know, we need more than my experimental software running out there. We need somebody to tune it while things get out of whack. And it will happen when the system begins to fail. Hey, you could buy us critical minutes. You're the only one that could pull it off. Okay? You know I'm right. I need you, and I need you topside. Okay, look, I'm coming with you. No, Colonel. With all due respect, you are not. There is no sea burn suit to fit you here. You'll get hit by severe radiation sickness within minutes. You'll never survive. And it's gonna be me and me alone. You can't expect us just to stand by while you play hero on your own. Something tells me you're gonna get the chance. That would be one of the concrete tankers docking. I'm headed to the bridge. <sighs> Colonel. Bye.
They'll come through. They'll find a way. It is not looking good from where I am standing. And I have been authorized to implement secondary protocol. And what exactly is secondary protocol? Presidential order. I'm sorry it's come to this, Jordan, but it is clear to me that we need to take drastic action. Which means? You are relieved of your duty. I have seen everything I need to see here. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Who's that you're talking to? Is that the president? No, ma'am. Not a chance. Recommend we proceed with pre-approved firing sequence. You're planning on firing on the ship? Do you know what'll happen if you hit that ship with a missile? Yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. We will keep the line open. It's not just a missile, it's a tactical nuke, and we are well aware of what the consequences are. There will be a bang, but that ship will sink down to the bottom of the trench where it belongs. There will be a huge bang. This is Admiral McDonough. Pass me through to launch control. A bang so big you'll hit four continents with waves a mile high. Do you have any idea what damage that will do? How many hundreds of millions will die? <laughs> I'm here. Got it. How are we doing on time? Maybe ten minutes. I might be able to stretch it more. Good. bigger payload and you could tear the whole planet apart. Dark matter doesn't work like normal matter. That's the whole point. It'll amplify a million times whatever you throw at it. That is not what the presidential scientific advisors say. Well, the presidential scientific advisors are dead wrong on this. This is Admiral McDonough. Confirm voice print. Delta, Zulu, Tango, X-ray. Put that down! Miss President. You are way out of line, Jordan. Firing sequence Delta Bravo is a go. Release the hound! Miss President. Captain, shut him up! Sir, put the phone down now, sir. I will not. Damn it, McDonald! Abort the launch! Miss President! Sir, drop the phone, sir. This is not going to happen. Mr. Jordan, I will fire, sir. No! Miss President! McDonald, abort the bird! Captain! now. Yes, sir. I 
I'm in. What's the status? Well, let's see here. The statistical analysis algorithm just failed, and Morgan is balancing the loads manually. I can buy us a couple minutes, baby. Tops. Right. Well, you know about the concrete now. I'll be scuttling the ship in about 10 minutes or so. And, uh... There's a small matter of a tactical nuke headed towards us. I'd say about eight minutes there. Murphy, just get those Magnus rigged and let's get the hell off this boat. Come on. Come on, Adam. I, I can't hold it much longer. Come on. You have to get them to call the missile off. The ice tent will not go in Earth unless we reach 15,000 feet. If that missile hits, we're gonna... Yeah. Armageddon, we know. Maybe we should just let it blow. It's a smaller bang, right? Smaller bang, yeah. Millions still die, though, so... That's still a hell of a lot better than hundreds of millions. I'm gonna lose it. I can't. I can't hold it anymore. Don't worry about a missile. I got it. Get the job done. Yes, sir. sinks my ship until I say so. I can't. Come on, baby, two more seconds. I can't hold it anymore. Hey, come on, get a grip. No, I lost it. No, you did it. We did it, it's done. It's done. Oh, God. <laughs> Good job, baby. Baby, you did it. Good job, Murphy. Adam, where are you? The chopper's here and they're about to scuttle the ship. I'm gonna have to take a rain check on that, Morgan. What do you mean? Sweetheart, I'm sorry. No. No. Look, I'm, uh... Buried under tons of concrete. I'm overexposed, Morgan. Somebody needs to write this thing down and make sure it stays together. No, Adam. No, you don't do this to me, okay? You, you get up here right now. Please. Please don't leave me alone again. Listen to me. You're gonna be okay. You're stronger than you know. It's time to go. No. We have to go now. No, no! What is going on down there? Murphy's gonna ride it down at the bottom. Keep it stable. Give me the radio. Put me on. Adam. Thank God you made it. You did it, baby. You saved us all. Colonel Hanley. Tanker 6 has expunged its surface load, sir. Okay. Are we clear to scuttle? Let's do it. It's looking stable up here. I'll make sure it stays that way as long as I can. I love you. I love you, too. Affirmative. You're clear the scuttle.
Both the super tanker and the weapon have been entombed successfully. Our country, as well as the rest of the world, owes an enormous debt of gratitude to those brave men and women who fought so valiantly against this disaster. In particular, Admiral McDonough, who will receive the Congressional Medal of Honor for having kept our lands and seas protected and our people safe and sound. God bless America. Press Secretary. Press Secretary. Press Secretary. How can the public be confident that this won't happen again in the future? This terrible weapon was a relic from another time, dark days in our nation's history. Those days are long gone. We must put this great ordeal behind us. The American people should understand that this is a government they can trust. Well, anyhow, I have um, here to answer your questions, a true American hero, Admiral McDonough. Thank you. Morgan, Adam was one of the noblest men I've ever met. A lot of time you rub people the wrong way. Most of the time, really. He was a hard guy to figure out. But he was only ever motivated by one thing. Desire to help others. Hell, I guess you know that already. You know where I am. Sorry for your loss. You gonna be all right? I'm better now than I have been in a long time. I know we got off on the wrong foot. And I, uh... Guess I didn't see it at first. See what? Why you followed him. Why you loved him. He only cared about doing good. Just like you. I'm just grateful for the time that we had. Can I offer you a ride anywhere? I'll just sit here for a little while. 